Well guys, as promised, it's uh, day two. Uh, still don't feel very well. Um, brothers, uh, my nephew's team, they didn't win last night, but it was pretty awesome to see him go to Sim Estate. Um, what I'm gonna do today, or attempt, is what well, one, the bay door, the struts, um, they kind of gave out yesterday, so I had to hold them up. Um, I'm gonna try to replace those. So I've got three batteries in there. So hopefully the top battery made 98% or 100%, which will get me close to the other two batteries and I'll hook all three of them up um, and then start it. Um, the other thing is I made a cable and I copied the pin out that Signature Solar gave me. So I'm gonna attempt to reset the firmware in the battery and then connect it to the servo and hopefully the servo will see the battery and I can use the battery's BMS as the input into the rest of the uh, system. So heading over there right now and uh, we'll pick it up in front of the bus. Well, I am here and uh, I'm replacing the door struts. Bike stand works perfect. Um, got one replaced and it's already holding up. So I'm gonna replace the second one and then adjust it because it doesn't seat into the, uh, the little snaps correctly. It never did, but um, there's a bunch of ground wires over here. And now that I've got everything turned off, I'm gonna readjust this arm so it works a little easier when there's not thousand volts on it well I got the struts on I didn't get it so it would lock up I need I need to pull those way forward um, and uh, I just don't have it in me by myself in the middle of nowhere when it's cold to do it but uh it's holding up on its own. So um, I made some directions for me and uh, happened to walk all over it. Um, but I made a cord. So they told me use pins seven and eight and four and five, but um, they told me which side was seven and eight. So I got the battery side and the servo side. But I don't know if four connects to seven or eight or vice versa. So I used these. Once I figure it out, I'll make me a cable. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, <clears throat> sweating to death. What I'm gonna do now is they say to um, hold in the third button. Actually, read my instructions that I ran all over. So what they said is set all dip switches toward the user to set the BMS. So they're all towards me. You hold the third button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then you go down to can and then you hit enter, which I think is this button. And then you go down and you can select Victron and hit that button and then hit enter. Um, oops. So I need to, let's do this one more time, make sure I got it. So then you hit that. So they said hit enter. I don't know which one of these is enter. Um, this one. This is up and down, back and enter. So down, enter, down, enter. All right. Turn off the BMS, so I'm going to lose my uh, batteries up here. <clears throat> and then set the master, this one, so 
want hit the hit it to up one and then turn back on and then it should be um, should connect so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that I'll save you you can watch the other video watch me try to turn it back on well guys I I plugged the cable into here in the servo after resetting it um, nothing inside I don't know what settings inside should be I don't know how it's supposed to show up um, they never showed any of that and uh, changed the cables uh, did that again so I have no idea I've got to contact them and ask them they just show you connect it and um, they say it works but they don't show they don't show what it does so I have no idea how I know if it even works I can't get it to show up on the device list though and there's a lot of settings in there too and uh, they don't say which one of these ports to connect to you know whether it's the uh, VE can or the BMS or anything like that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut everything down connect the three batteries together and uh, turn it all off so guys just wanted to show you I did get uh, all of these guys um, on I ended up starting the uh, starting the Victrons from these two batteries after all that um, what I saw was this would kick it to about 16 or 18 and that's like all the higher it would go and so um, I kept turning it off and turning it on it never go more than 18 so what I did was I turned both of these on um, almost together so I've as soon as I flick the switch on this one, I flicked it on that one like a half a second behind and I could hear this kick it to 18 and then this one kicked it to the 26 and then I turned this one on. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is let this um, equalize for a little bit. Um, all right, that's on standby. This one's discharging. Um, that one's discharging. I'll just let them kind of um, equalize a little bit. I've got a my 12 volt load on which there's nothing really on. Maybe I'll go turn something on there but i um, pretty happy. I got all of these set and uh, they'll start my Victrons without having to manually take all that apart so that's pretty awesome. Um, I think you know I can start it by that guy but uh, I think hitting this one and that one, um, shoot, you don't even need the new battery. Uh, so I should have brought my voltmeter out here and checked it a while ago. But um, instead of what I had been doing is I've got the system in bypass and I've got my uh, generator battery here and then my chassis batteries back there. And I've got like a um, AC battery tender on them because they're lead acid and uh, so what I had been doing was I kept the system on and then kept this going um, just so I wouldn't have to manually um, pre-charge my uh, capacitors. And so I had this thing just sitting kind of idle. Um, what I'm going to do now is just um, wait I don't know, probably a half hour or something, and uh, let these equalize and then turn them all off. And um, I've got that unplugged. Um, I don't have to worry about heating the batteries anymore. Um, they can freeze. You just can't charge them when they're froze. Um, you can use them, um, but you just can't charge them. And I've got um, 5, 10, 15,000 watts of power, so I don't need to charge the damn things. And then if it does get cold, I can just come out here and um, warm them up before, you know, if I'm going to take the bus, um, just come out here and try to warm them up. It'll tell me the temperatures of them. And I can shut the wake speed off um, so it doesn't charge it. So I'm pretty happy. Um, like I said, the next step I've got to get with Victron or Signature Solar and figure out the settings in the exact pins telling me it's pin four and five and seven and eight. Um, I don't know which one it is. And uh, I'm taking it from the sittings, which one to plug into which. So there could be four different combinations. And then I don't know what settings 
uh, inside the bus on the Victron to set it to so that I can see it. So um, instead of sitting out here for uh, forever, I'm just going to let this equalize and uh, see if I can get some information back, but really happy. You know, 15,000 watts of power. It's crazy. And I'm going to have uh, 1,400 watts of solar panels. Um, so I'm hoping this next year, uh, if the wife will let me, I think it'd be neat to go out and um, kind of boondock with this thing. Um, see how long I can run it. Because, you know, those, uh, been looking at those like Blue Yeti things, they're the biggest ones that they have are like 2,000 watt. And this is 15. So I'm seven times bigger. And uh, so I can do anything I want. Um, and then I've got a 20,000 watt generator to start it up. So I don't know, pretty stoked. Um, try to get over this COVID and uh, figure the... Um, um, figure the settings out, dial it in, and uh, I'll do a summary video. But yeah, it'll be pretty cool to have um, the BMS from that top battery telling the wake speed and the Victron what to do. So I mean, that's the ultimate thing there. And then they're just kind of plug and play batteries. Um, and you know, with as much use as we get out of them, who knows how long they'll last maybe longer than the bus and I think the bus has got another 20 years in it so I don't know thanks for watching I'll uh, put another video up once I can get some information see you bye